funny anymore. Not like it was funny before, but it's just like, it's pretty grave at this point in terms of how I feel about the situation. And um, I just really hope that uh, the school that I've worked for can, can kind of get back to their tenets of the mission of the Incarnate Word, like they said that they're, they do and exude and that the you know sisters of the Incarnate Word set out to do. Like, I really hope the school can uh, Gonna find their way and, and show compassion and show love, not just here, but legally and in the courtrooms, and be able to show that that they actually do follow their their tenets that they themselves set forth. So, uh, not tonight for me was not just to honor Cameron because we can honor Cameron on his birthday. You know, we're honoring Cameron tonight because of something that tragically happened. To him something that you know we all feel very strong about but I think what brings people out over and over again is the kind of person that Cameron was and the kind of life he lived and the fact that he was someone who was so loving and so caring and so unselfish and someone who gave of himself all, all the time 100% and was always willing to help someone out uh, he really did make you feel like you were important to him which is not a very common trait you know in this age um, you, you meet a lot of people and just in passing, you know, they're, they're uh, I guess just cordial, but Cameron was really deep and he took the time to get deep with you and to really, you know, get to know you. And that's a really good trait that I would like to acknowledge. Day two, he says, I'm thankful for strong, healthy legs, loving parents, and a good upbringing. And then he writes, I was leaving Walmart today. This must be the one on Girl Austin Highway. I was leaving Walmart today and there was a guy in a wheelchair on the sidewalk holding a sign that said, Hungry, we'll eat leftovers. This combined with the fact that the guy had both of his legs amputated made it obvious that he was very underprivileged. I was contemplating giving him some cash, but a car was coming up behind me, so I had so I got ready to pull out onto Austin Highway. Fortunately, the car got in the lane next to mine, and since it wasn't clear to pull out onto the road just yet, I saw my opportunity. As I grabbed the six dollars I had in my console, I saw that a worker from Wendy's was giving him some food and praying with him. As I approached, I heard the lady praying through tears, Lord, help him, please help him. I laid the six dollars on his arm and then jumped back into the truck. Right before I pulled out, he looked up and waved at me. I don't care if he used that money for drugs or alcohol or cigarettes. That's not for me to worry about. I could see that he was obviously in a bad place, and he needed it more than I did. This is the camera. that I want all the y'all to remember. Christ had placed in him, touching people. That's what we're about as, as believers. And that's what this university is about. It's, it's about teaching the incarnate word, teaching Christ. And I, my hope for all of us is, is that regardless of what we see others do, that we will pursue that standard. Because that's a standard that Cameron pursued in his life. And you're here because of that. Anyway, let's, let's close in prayer. God. <clears throat>
We thank you for the spirit of grace that you've given us, for the spirit you placed within Cameron, for the opportunities for those of us to do him, whether even personally or even after the fact, God, that how he has touched uh, their lives just because he loved, he reached out to people and he loved them. Lord, I pray for the Rita's family that your grace will be on them in just a so powerful way. Lord, I pray that as we move on, that that spirit of Christ will grow from this group. And then when we say, or when we think, am I living up to a standard? Think about how Cameron lived up to that standard, whether it be the last $6 he had, or whether it be taking time out to just speak with someone or try to lift them up. We thank you for the example that his life was to each and every one of us. And Lord, we look to you when we fail. We look to you to give us the power to live up to the standard you call us to in Christ's name.